Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I want to talk about Andrew Kipe's YouTube channel uh, that was terminated recently. And the termination of Andrew Kipe's channel might be attributed to a combination of so many factors, including foundations of YouTube's community guidelines and involvement of government entities from Kenya. Uh, while we don't, while there, there's no specific uh, information about his case that has been provided, I want to explore potential reasons and government involvement that may lead to such termination. Karibu sana kwa my YouTube channel. If you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for always coming back to support my content. And for those who are watching me from a different platform, kindly go YouTube, search DMTV Kenya, Subscribe also and turn on the notification bell. Of course, don't forget to like my videos. The reason number one why the journal of Andrew Kipe was terminated is Community Guidelines Federations. We know very well that YouTube enforces a set of community guidelines to maintain a safe and appropriate platform for its users. That's something all of us, we must know. Whoever wants to start a YouTube channel, you must know that. So foundations of these guidelines, such as hate speech, harassment, or content promoting violence, uh, can result in a channel's termination. If indeed Andrew Kibbe's channel was consistently found in violation of these guidelines, definitely it could have prompted YouTube to take action. And reason number two is copyright infringements. Uh, here, unauthorized use of copyrighted material for example, let me say music, movies, or images is another reason for channel termination. And if Andrew Kipe was found repeatedly infringing upon copyright laws by using content without proper permissions, uh, copyright holders or media companies could have filed complaints against his channel leading to termination. I remember very well through my introduction I told you that there's no specific reasons but I want to give you the possible reasons why uh, YouTube terminates some channels. Uh, number three, uh, reason number three is fake news or misinformation. Uh, if Andrew Kipe's channel was spreading false information or misleading information, YouTube might have deemed it uh, as a foundation of their policies on misinformation. Uh, repeatedly uh, disseminating inaccurate information especially during sensitive times or related to public health, may have triggered disciplinary action by YouTube, including suspension or termination. Eh? Those are policies from YouTube. If you go against even one, YouTube will be, your channel will be terminated. So uh, when I go to the government, uh, Regarding to government disinformation, it is important to know that YouTube operates in some laws 
uh, and the regulations according to the government. So governments uh, sometimes can influence the platform's decision in a few ways and I'm going to give you uh, one or two ways how the government was involved in terminating uh, Andrew Kibbe's YouTube channel. Number one, we have what we call legal pressure. The government uh, can exert legal pressure on YouTube to comply uh, with specific regulations or take action against the certain content creators. So here authorities might uh, issue requests, warning or even legal notices for YouTube to address content that they deem as violating local laws. Uh, number two, according to the government involvement, I can say that content regulation policies. In some cases, uh, governments cooperate with social media platforms to establish uh, policies related to hate speech, violence, or political content. Uh, these policies influence how platforms modulate and remove content. If Andrew Kibbe's content fell into categories or themes restricted by the government regulations, it could have faced consequences. But <laughs> Andrew Kibbe is back with another YouTube channel. We don't know what's going to happen and we don't know what he's going to talk about, but his content will never change. And we don't know if the other YouTube channels are going to be returned back. But if I'm in another new channel, then it would be difficult. So here it is crucial to have specific details about.